The U.S. Army grounding its entire fleet of Chinook helicopters after the discovery of an issue leading to engine fires. Washington correspondent Evan Lambert is live. And Evan, the Chinook is the Army's only heavy lift cargo copter. So how significant is this? And what do we know about the cause of these fires? Nicole, well, we know that the Army has about 400 of these helicopters. It has been their workhorse, really, for six decades here. The Army telling us in a statement that they grounded the Chinooks, quote, out of an abundance of caution and that this is a temporary move. The Army telling News Nation in a statement in part, quote, the Army has identified the root cause of fuel leaks that caused a small number of engine fires among an isolated number of H-47 helicopters and is implementing corrective measures to resolve this. The engine's maker, Honeywell, giving us even more specifics, saying that they've narrowed down the problem to a part in the engine of the engine, rather, called an O-ring. Honeywell says the Army replaced that part during maintenance with one not meeting Honeywell's specifications. Now, these cargo helicopters support combat and other critical operations, according to the Army. It can transport dozens of soldiers, loads of equipment, and also plays a role in things like medical evacuations, search and rescue, and parachute drops. It can carry up to 36 soldiers. We spoke with an engineer for a company that uses Chinooks in the private sector to get his reaction to this grounding. I'll tell you with the, um, the functionality and the capability of them, uh, I think everybody is all hands on deck at this point uh, um, to get these things back in the air as fast as we can. And the Army telling us there are no other details on the engine fires or not sharing those details other than to say that they haven't caused any injuries or deaths. Now, this problem appears to be just in the U.S. military. The Royal Canadian Air Force telling News Nation that their Chinooks are operational. Nicole? Yeah, hopefully they'll be able to make those repairs quickly. All right, Evan, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.